Hello everyone, welcome back to Maths and Study YouTube channel. My name is Diksha and I am one of the PT and IELTS instructors over here at Maths and Study. Um, so in this video, we are going to look at some summarized written text questions. But before going forward with that, let us do a quick recap of summarized written text. All right. Uh, let me share my screen. All right. So first thing to remember, you have 10 minutes per question. And you'll usually get around one to two questions of this type, okay? So um, even though it's 10 minutes per question, you typically don't need 10 minutes uh, to do this. You'll usually be done in around five minutes if you follow along our strategy. But of course, you can take the remaining time to um, recall the template of your essay, or you can also take the time to check for any typos or errors in your um, answer, okay, rather than submitting it. Because submitting five minutes early, it doesn't give you uh, the extra minutes in any other question type or in any other sections of the PT, all right? Um, the next thing is word limit. So there is a word limit of five to 75 words. So not more than 75, otherwise you'll get zero marks. Less than five, also you'll get zero marks. So you have to stay within the boundary, all right? But within that, uh, just because you write 30 words doesn't mean that you'll get, let, get less marks than when you write 60 words, okay? As long as you are following along the strategy properly, whether you write 20, 30, or 60, 70 um, words, you'll still be getting full marks, okay? And the full marks for this question is, um, seven marks, seven for writing, and then also seven for reading. Seven for reading. Um, this, if you do this question properly, it will also help you to gain seven full marks in reading. All right, and uh, the most important part, sentence. So according to the um instruction of this question type, you can only write one sentence. Okay. Not more than that. So that means any um, extra period or a full stop by accident in mid the middle of the sentence or at the end, and then you'll get zero marks. Okay, so be very careful with this. All right. Um, the strategy. So the strategy for summarized written text is quite simple. We are just going to write sentence, one sentence, and we are going to do that by combining two sentences, all right? So first thing you want to do is grab a first sentence, all right? And then put a comma and and in order to connect the sentence. We're using the simplest conjunctions that we have. Um, however, but other, there are other conjunctions such as these, but the easiest to use is and, and we'll go with that every time for our summarized written text, all right? And after that, choose the second sentence and then put a full stop at the end, okay? So giving a full stop is very important if you want to write one sentence and you have to give punctuation marks as needed, okay? So if the um, passes, if the sentences has any other punctuations other than a full stop, you have to copy them as it is, okay? So these are just a few things you need to remember about summarized written text. Let's go ahead and um, tackle our first question. All right. Uh, let me remove this now since we are done with this. And let's look at our first question. Let me restart the time. All right. So it's 10 minutes for one question. Um, all right. Let's choose. Let's choose our first sentence. So in the very beginning, it's given a question, right? Even if you put a full stop behind this, it's not a sentence, right? You have to paraphrase it. And we are not going to do any paraphrasing here. We're not going to read the whole uh, passages as well, okay? We're just going to choose two simple sentences and get over it, all right? So first sentence is a question. Avoid it. Better to avoid it. Let's look at our second sentence. Um, it looks independent enough. Reports from both sides of the Atlantic so that female students dominate university courses, yet women still do not make it to the top. This seems quite simple. Doesn't indicate that it has any missing information, right? So we can take this as our first sentence. Let's type it out. See here, Atlantic. Atlantic is written with capital A, okay? Because it's a unique noun. And unique noun 
has to be started with, um, has to start with capital letter, no matter whether it's in the middle of the sentence, okay? So, that female students dominate versus yet women Okay, we've written our first sentence now. So we are not going to pull, put a full stop over here, but we are going to put comma space and put this conjunction and then connect the next sentence, okay? Um, a report on inequality in the UK said last week that girls had better educational results than boys at 16 went to university in greater numbers and achieved better degrees once they got there, okay? Seems like quite a simple sentence as well. So we are going to take this. Uh, remember when we are connecting the second sentence, we have to start with small letter until and unless it's a unique noun, okay? And A, report. I've put an extra O, P there. Avoid it. Okay. So we are connecting two sentences and putting a full stop at the end, okay? Check for any typos, see if you have any, made any spelling mistakes. Okay, looks good. So our word count is 59, which is perfectly within the word limit. Let us submit this answer. And we are getting a perfect square, right? Very simple. Uh, I took around four minutes in order to complete this, even with all of the talking and typing and checking, right? So see, very simple. Just take two sentences, connect it with the conjunction and comma and, and then finish it, all right? Let's look at a few more questions, all right? What we have here is next question. Read your first sentence. Okay, looks simple enough. And look at the second question. It's talking about compartmentalization, which means spacing seats close together as well as, okay. I can see some symbols like um, inverted commas and a dash. I think it's fine to uh, copy all of these symbols as it is, okay? If you miss the symbols instead, that might cause you to have some grammatical errors. So when you are taking simple sentences, uh, make sure to copy is as it is, okay? Don't make unnecessary changes. Okay, first sentence done, comma is space. And Okay, I've written my two sentences, connected it with the, okay, all right. So I've written two sentences, only put a single full stop over here and connected two of them by using comma and, okay. I've also copied the inverted commas as it is, as well as other conjunctions that were used in the sentences, just as it is, okay. Even the, uh, dash between energy absorbing. Just see whether there are spaces between the dashes or not, okay? Let's submit it. The word count is 43, which is also correct. It doesn't say anywhere that you have to be uh, writing 60, 70 in order to get full marks, okay? So we got another four perfect score. And this time I was able to complete it within three minutes. Quite easy, right? And let's check another passes then. All right, so let's go about our next question, North Sentinel Island. Um, so as a strategy says, we're just going to look at the first sentence, doesn't have any extra full stop in between, looks like a normal sentence. We can take it. 
the second sentence also looks good. There is a um, a colon over there, but we can copy the symbols as it is. Uh, commas can also be copied as it is. My only concern is that if I write these two words together, two sentences together, it might go over 75. And I don't want to type it out and um, at the end find out that my word count is going above 75, all right? So what I'm going to do is uh, skip the second sentence, which seems quite long, and then take the um, third sentence, okay? There are eight, 184 islands in this tropical archipelago located in the Bay of Bengal, about 300 miles off the coast of Myanmar and 700 miles from India. Looks um, short enough. Doesn't If I connect the first and third sentence, that is also correct. It doesn't go above 75 words. So let's try that instead. Okay, first sentence done. Uh, for the unique nouns such as Bay of Bengal and North Sentinel Island, uh, you need to copy them with for uh, capital letters as they are written. Join the second sentence using comma and. Now I'll take the third sentence instead. Okay. So total word count 60. All right, if we had taken the um, second sentence instead, it might have gone beyond 75, right? So 60 is also fine since we are less than 75. Let me check if there are any typos. Okay, looks good. Let's submit it. All right, all good except the word sentinelese. It's suggesting a different word. As I said before as well, um, sentinel, sentinelese, this is just uh, referring to people from the North Sentinel Island. It's kind of a unique noun and the AI dictionary of our website just doesn't have it. That's why it's showing it as grammatical error. But for all questions that you get in your PTA exams, uh, this will be... Uh, grammatically correct, okay, since the AI should have it in the question bank, in the dictionary. Okay, so all good. Let's look at a few more questions. Okay, highway hypnosis. Uh, so in this question, our first sentence is a question itself. And as we talked before, we cannot take a question as a sentence. That would be grammatically incorrect. That's why we'll avoid it, okay? The next sentence after question, it's sort of incomplete. No, you weren't abducted by aliens. Doesn't seem like it gives enough information, right? So our first sentence, whenever we choose it, it needs to be general enough so that it doesn't indicate that uh, it has any missing information from before or it's referring to something else, right? So that's why you're we're not going to take the sentence after question mark as well. Um, the third sentence also seems kind of incomplete. You simply experienced highway hypnosis. Doesn't seem uh, informative enough. That's why let's go to the fourth sentence now. Highway hypnosis or white line fever is a trance-like state under which a person drives a motor vehicle in a normal, safe manner yet has no recollection of having done so. Looks like a simple sentence. Has enough information. Doesn't seem like it's missing anything. That can be your first sentence, all right? Let's look at the next one. Drivers experiencing highway hypnosis may drone out of short distances or hundreds of miles. That's also simple enough. So we are going to take our um, one, two, three, fourth and fifth sentences as our first and second sentence, okay? It's completely fine to take um, sentences from middle of the passes. Just make sure that it has enough general information, all right? And most of the times, if your first sentence is good enough, you don't even need to look for your second, th sorry, third, fourth, or fifth sentences, all right? But in this case, we are going to start from our fourth sentence. Highway, let's copy it. All right, first sentence done, comma, space, and.
Okay, I've put a full stop now. Let's check it if we have any spelling errors. So translate state and image first. All right, looks good enough. Word count is 46. Let's submit it. Okay, very good. Full marks. Um, so remember whenever they are like plural or singulars or like articles like oh and the, they are written for a purpose, okay? To make it grammatically correct. So if you miss any in your rush, all right, you may have some minor errors that will give you less than seven in actual exam, okay? So you have enough time Make sure to take your full time, check for any spelling errors, all right? Let's look at some other questions then. All right, let's start our next question. It's about history. So first sentence, it's a question. We are not going to take it. Uh, the second sentence, it seems that we also cannot take it. Certainly it has been used in this way for centuries. It is a pronoun and we do not know what it's referring to. It's out of context if we choose this as our first sentence, right? It's dependent. That's why you're not going to take the second sentence as well. Let's skip it. Let's look at the um, third question, third sentence. We can all remember history at school. <laughs> all right. Seems a bit long. The first sentence is quite long. And let's look at our second sentence. It is also quite long. So I am worrying here that if I take this um, third and fourth sentences as my first and second, I might go above 75 word count. And we do not want that, right? So in this kind of um, rare scenarios where your um, sentences are all too long, you know, and you do not know how to break it, uh, if you can take uh till the like dash or till the um comma as a sentence you're not sure of that what you can do instead is take your first uh general sentence as the only sentence and make it a summary okay so in this question we're going to tackle it a bit differently we're going to say the summary passes is that and then and then we are going to write our third sentence as the first sentence, all right? We can All right, this word count is 53. So we are just 20 words below the limit. If we had written our second sentence as well, connected these two, that would have surely been over um, 75. Let's do some typo checking. What is that we can all remember history at school? The school as being a matter of learning lots of facts and dates and long lists of kings and queens. A grand narrative of how we got from a not so civilized past to the great nation we are today. All right, seems good enough. Here we are only taking. Uh, one sentence because it's quite long. Let's submit it. And okay, we're getting nine out of, sorry, seven out of seven. That's full marks, right? So uh, when you have like two long sentences, as you can see, your other sentences are also quite long and you cannot break it down. You can just take one long sentence and call it a summary, okay? By writing the summary of the passes is that and your first sentence, okay? So, but just make sure only to use this when you have long, long sentences. If it's just a 10, 15 words a sentence and you're going to write the summary of the passage is that, that would be quite short, right? So only use this technique if all of your sentences that you are planning to choose are long and you might go over 75 if you combine them both with and, all right? Let's look at the final question of the day then. All right, so um, last question, beautiful island. Let's try it. First sentence, it is many people's dream to go to a beautiful island on a holiday. 
However, islands are usually quite small and many of them are unable to deal with the number of tourists that visit them. Both of them seem uh, good enough, so I'm not going to read the rest of the passages and you don't need to either, right? Just see, just choose your first and second sentences. Let's write it out, which is... All right, so here is a bit of a dilemma. Um, we have however. However is also used um, to connect two ideas. Um, so it's connecting the sentence before and after with a opposing um, conjunction called however. And when we join two sentences, we also use comma, space, and, right? This is also a conjunction that is used to connect two sentences. And so here, if you write, however, we're having two conjunctions at one time, which seems grammatically incorrect. So what I'm just going to do is, if I remove the however, the rest of it looks like a normal sentence. So I'm just going to use the and conjunction since it's quite simple rather than however, okay? So uh, first sentence, comma, space, and, and I will just remove the however conjunction and copy the rest of the second sentence as it is, all right? Islands are All right, 35 sentence. Um, as we said before, it's not mandatory that you have to write like 50, 60 sentences in order to get full marks, okay? Even if you write 30, 40, you'll also get enough marks if you are doing all things correct and there is no grammatical error, okay? Let's submit it. All right, and as before, we're getting full marks. So um, we saw some sample questions. We tackled how to do, um, how to solve it if we see extra conjunctions like however, right? Um, we also saw question marks and what to do or what not to do if we encountered any question marks or dependent sentences, right? Um, that was it for today. Um, I hope you all had a great time looking at the questions. Uh, try to practice more at home as well before giving your exams. And do comment down below if you have any other queries or if you'd like to talk about any other topics, all right? And let us know if you want to see more of these videos. And do not forget to please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends and families, all right? That's it for today, and thank you.